Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be using the breadboard that I made in the last video to design and build a distortion overdrive circuit that I'm going to potentially turn into a two or three part series where I make an actual pedal out of it. Um, but in today's video, I'm just going to design it. All right, so I'm going to be using my SG guitar and I'm also going to be using my small little uh, 30 watt bass amp. This amp will be mic so that you can hear a little bit better as far as what I'm going to be hearing. The only downside to using the solid state amp as opposed to using the tube amp for designing purposes is you don't get to hear how the circuit is going to overdrive the tubes when you're designing it, but that's fine. So like I said, this may be a two or three part series. Um, I'm going to design the circuit today and Potentially in a later video, I will actually make a perf board or design a PCB for it and I'll end up making an actual pedal. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so first up is I made a couple changes to the breadboard since I made it. Um, I was playing around with it a little bit and there was some things I didn't like, some things I did like. So I went ahead and labeled all the jacks and knobs and everything. And the toggle switches were supposed to be switches that I can just plug in so I can switch um, things on and off, like capacitors and diodes and that kind of thing. I found out I don't think I'm going to do that. So what I ended up doing is I made one of them a power switch. And I did add a 9-volt a battery. When the bypass switch is on, it takes the input, runs it through the volume pot, and then out the output. The output does go straight into the volume pot. I would assert that 95% of the time, it's always the volume pot's always going to be at the very end of the circuit, and I'm probably never going to have a situation where it's not. So, to simplify things, to clean up some of the wires, I went ahead and just put the volume pot at the very end of the circuit, right next to the output. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up. This is just what the amp sounds like. The first thing that I'm going to build on this pedal is a preamp. So this is going to take the, the very weak signal coming in from the guitar and it's going to boost it up to a level that we can, that we can work with. I'm going to go ahead and start off with a resistor and I'm going to use a 2N 5088 transistor. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and set the the bias voltage for the base of the transistor and I'm going to do that with 100K going to ground. If you find this interesting and you want and you want to see a video where I explain some of the more technical aspects of why this resistor over that resistor or how the resistors create voltage drops, that kind of thing. Um, leave a comment, let me know. I will be glad to. Um, just for the scope of this video, I'm just sort of showing how I made it and a little bit about a little bit about how I design a pedal. We're gonna do a 10k coming off the 9 volt side, the 9 volt rail. The feedback I'm going to use a 470k resistor and it's going to go between the collector and the base. Another 0.1 microfarad coupling capacitor and it's going to come off the collector. Just for fun I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and see what it sounds like as is. I like to for each each transistor stage I like to hear what it sounds like so that I know what each stage sounds like and how each stage makes the next stage sound, if that makes sense. So as you can hear, there's a little bit of distortion, not a whole lot, that's fine. The first stage is a preamp, it's not supposed to distort, but because it's a distortion pedal, a little bit of distortion in the preamp stage is not a big deal. All right, so let's keep going. 
So I am thinking that I'm gonna do just a, just a two transistor circuit. Um, I'm not gonna have any kind of tone stack. I'm not gonna have any, any real complicated anything. I don't even think I'm gonna have a, a gain knob or, or distortion knob or anything like that. I'm just gonna have volume output. I don't want the distortion to be too overwhelming because I do kind of want to use it as an overdrive pedal um, because I'm going to be using it with, with my tube amp. All right, so now I'm going to set up the, the, second, the second stage here. So same transistor, 2 in 5088. I'm going to go ahead and stick him right there. I'm just going to mirror the, uh, the first stage. This design is about as simple as you can get it when it comes to transistor audio circuits for the feedback. I'm just going to use the 470K. So now for the, the emitter resistor, I'm going to, I'm going to use a little bit higher value. So I'm going to use 150 ohms this time. All right, so on the feedback network, I'm actually going to throw a couple jumpers in. And I'm actually, I'm going to use a couple diodes and a capacitor or two. The coupling capacitor is then going to go to the output. All right, so let's go ahead and hear how this sounds. Okay, so we're starting to get starting to get some pretty good distortion there. All right, so we are getting there. I think I want to add. I think I want to add a resistor um, from the preamp to the clipping stage. This is just to help control some of that distortion. You don't want it to, to get too muddy. You don't want, you don't want this stage to be too loud going into this stage because then it'll just oversaturate it. All right, so let's see how that sounds. And I don't hear anything. Maybe that wasn't touching. Okay, so I think it helped a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna work on the feedback and I'm gonna throw in a couple of these. What are they? These are 4148s. I don't remember what the forward voltage um, on these diodes is, but I, I know it's a lot lower than some of the other diodes I have. And I like to use these for, for clipping um, because they do clip a lot sooner. So now that we have those diodes in there, it's a lot quieter. So one other thing that I like to play around with with a guitar pedal is how responsive it is to a low input. So like on a tube amp, you have the gain knob. And the gain knob is basically just a volume potentiometer that is placed at the beginning of the preamp circuit. So in our example, you would put it right after the preamp and then it would be a volume knob that would control how much signal goes into the clipping stage. And what this does is it controls how much signal goes into it and you can control how much distortion you get out of it. So one thing that I like to do is um, I'll let a little bit of signal in like that and I'll see and I'll see how responsive it is to that low signal. So this is with almost nothing coming into it. So it's pretty clean, sounds pretty decent. So it's, it distorts fairly early, which is, which is not a bad thing. It's got pretty good sustain and pretty good, well-rounded linear distortion. So I'm actually very impressed with this little circuit. It's very simple, and in my opinion, it actually sounds pretty good.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Stay tuned for the next video where I take this circuit and I put it on perf board or I make a PCB for it and I'm actually going to put it in a little enclosure and I'll show how I do all of that. <laughs> you know if you like that video, you should subscribe to my channel. You too.